if I could uh, invite the Honorable James Doyle to join us on stage. Mr. Doyle, or Jim, as he likes to be called, is a former governor of Wisconsin. I just thought I'd state that in case anybody missed it. He is known for embracing and going beyond his governorship role for Hmong communities in Wisconsin. Former Governor Doyle, along with his very diverse cabinet, perhaps the most diverse, in the states at that time, worked closely with minority groups to ensure that every person, refugee or not, was taken care of. Jim has been a long-standing ally of the Hmong community, and today we honor and recognize him for the leadership and guidance that he has provided throughout the years. Growing up, I remember, and I don't mean to predate or put some dates on this, but I would just remember hearing about the governor in Wisconsin and what he's doing. And I just brush it off like, whatever, who cares? Policy, I don't know what that means. It wasn't until later that I realized how impactful those actions were to the Hmong community and to all of us living in Wisconsin. So it is my pleasure to present the Honorable James Doyle with the Outstanding Leadership Award from the Hmong Institute. Thank you for all that you do, Jim. Well, Vincent, thank you. Uh, and to my Zhang and Peng and the whole uh, Hmong Institute, I want to thank you for all that you've done. To the mutual assistance groups across Wisconsin that I spent, I've spent so many hours with, uh, all over in La Crosse and Eau Claire and Wausau and Sheboygan, Milwaukee, Madison, to my good friends I see sitting here, uh, to the other honorees who have been, uh, who have been so critical uh, to, to the, in, the, the, the advance of Hmong people in Wisconsin, I say thank you. Um, so I, I know it's late and I just want to say a couple of things. I, it is my thanks. I was really the beneficiary of a major political movement when the Hmong people in Wisconsin really stepped up. Uh, I met with Jan General Vang Pao and had the honor to meet with him with many of you had invited to, to Wisconsin and we sat down and talked and he decided I was the person who he would like to see elected in the state of Wisconsin. And that was a very, very helpful endorsement uh, in those days. Uh, the, result was, the result was that I had uh, Hmong, uh, two young, young Hmong people come to my campaign and work full time in my first governor's campaign in outreach to the Hmong community, in political organization. And we met, and many of you in this room and others all across the state, in little rooms all across the state, uh, and really organized uh, the Hmong vote. It was critical to my election. So I'm here to really say thank you for what you did and the organizations you've made. I cherished all of those moments. I cheered and was so happy with all of you when we, when, as Attorney General, we saw the first Hmong police officer. This seems like ancient history now, but the first Hmong police officer, the first Hmong teacher in the state of Wisconsin. Now we have a first uh, Hmong judge and so many others. Um, my, uh, my wife Jessica, who's here, and I uh, have a story cloth in our living room in our home, which we cherish. And it tells a story that I think every American had better look at and think about every minute of the day, and particularly as we now are watching what's happening with Af uh, people from Afghanistan who are coming to the United States. But it's a story of, of hardship and resilience and perseverance as you move along that story path. And in the end, not even in the end, and then at one moment coming to the United States and fortunately to the state of Wisconsin and adding so much richness 
uh, to this culture of our state. So it's, uh, I've often said, uh, Hmong, uh, Hmong culture is important as Bucky Badger is to the state of Wisconsin. <laughs> Uh, it is such an important part of our, our uh, lives in this state. It has enriched us so much. Uh, and I thank you for all the efforts, and I'm very honored by this award. Thank you. 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 Now, I don't know how appropriate this joke is going to be but we're just going to wing it. If you look at all the attendees, minus um, uh, Sue and, uh, and our next guest, um, but you know how hard they work because there's no hair left. <laughs> so I definitely appreciate that. And uh, for, for whatever it's worth, I'm starting to feel mine fall out too. 